Hey, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss Pre Market Report for March 30th, 2016. I'm Frank Ochoa, and here's a look at the daily chart of the ES. We finally reached the HVN at 2061. We've done it here in overnight trading. Uh, that's exactly the, the major target we were shooting for after prices uh, began to see a rejection of the lows down here. Uh, and that was something that we talked about before, especially in the trading room. This minor rejection right here implied a move back to 1941, the middle of the August range, as a result of failing to see range expansion below the August low. And if you go across the range, you also open up the potential to see a move back toward the top of that range, and that's why I keep mentioning 2077 half and that 2061. That 2061 is a major HVN up here, and that's value. And uh, if you're going to see rejection down here on multiple occasions, the implication is that the market would want to come back and trade at value, uh, at least at value where it saw value in a previous period of time. So we finally got that major move into 2061. I still believe that we could see a push into 2077 half. Again, holding above 2000 was important. Any pullbacks into that zone or to it uh, provided an opportunity to, to see a squeeze higher. So very nice continuation move. I would say any pullback into the top of that range here now offers an opportunity to defend for even uh, another push higher. Now at some point, I do believe uh, that we're going to likely see some sort of range develop at highs, very similar to what we saw before at these levels. So now that we've seen a big push up into this HVN, uh, when the market returns to a major HVN, the, the goal is to see facilitation of trade. So you're likely going to see some sort of range develop on these highs ahead of the next potential move, perhaps back toward 1800 or through the highs at 2100. So we'll see how it plays out. Overall, the market has been very, very sluggish once it gets to these highs. And you can see that there has been a pattern kind of of rounding off off these highs here. Uh, so this, this is not out of the clear here that we're just going to rally through the highs and continue higher. Uh, this thing could get stuck in the mud and then we could see a loss of momentum and a push back downward. So we're not done with this move and it doesn't mean we're going to push to new highs. It means that we've completed most of the target here all the way into 2061 with a shot to see a little bit more overage into 77 half but from then we could begin to see some sort of range form on highs between 2000 and uh, and 2080. All right if we look at the intraday time frame here uh, you'll see how significant that rally was in the previous session it all started with a failure to hold below the previous uh, sessions low and from there we saw a move into the high when price pushed to the high, the pullback was defended, and then we saw a push into the previous week's uh, high price. Since then, price has continued to be bid, and you continue to see strength to the upside. Uh, again, pullbacks uh, are likely to be defended until proven otherwise into the next upside targets. Uh, we do have a primary weekly target at 2073, in addition to the weekly expansion targets. The next ones up are 2065 and 2074. So those are the next two major targets to reach uh, as we head out the rest, of the rest of the week. Now if we take a look here at crude oil, crude oil uh, saw a failure to, to hold below the previous week's low that led to kind of a saucer or rounded bottom and that kind of pushed price higher uh, short term here. But you got to keep an eye on this previous week's close right there. Any failure to get back above that zone could put pressure to the downside and again that, that could lead to a big time test of this 37.65. That's a key zone right there. The CLVN right here. That's the top of it. I would say a push into that area offers an opportunity for bulls to defend for another squeeze event. Otherwise, failure to hold that level opens up to a move into the next HVN below at 35.17. On an intraday basis, you can see this is the, uh, the little rounded bottom we talked about yesterday after the close in the closing report. I mentioned above 38.65 likely squeezes into 39.21. So far, price continues to push toward that end, reaching a high of 39.08 in overnight trading. I would say still, as long as price remains above the 38.33 level, that's a key level there. Uh, holding above that zone opens up the door to a push back up within the range. Uh, so long as price can, can hold above that zone, we likely see another attempt, at least a five-day VPOT 39.21, with a shot at returning up to 40.12. Okay, let's take a look at gold. Gold was solid. This was exactly as you would expect. Uh, two, two sessions ago, we talked about the rejection off these lows, how, how important 12.0570 and 
Six was price return higher off third standard deviation on the pivot boss bands, and that led to a nice push right into 12, uh, 1245s. So 1245 is the primary bull target for the week. Uh, price came within a few ticks of reaching that in overnight trading. I mentioned any pullback likely to be defended. This is value right here, composite value, 1233s. Pushing back above it, you can see that bulls are now defending at it, and that would offer an opportunity to squeeze further into uh, the next upside target, 1258. So we'll see how that plays out. Any failure to hold above 1233 puts pressure on a retest back towards 1221, which bulls want to defend. Looking at the NQ here on a, on a daily time frame, uh, we talked about the significance of 4355, big time level 4355. You can see that LVN right here coming to play, um, going offered through it, then being defended at it, defended at it several times, and then being bid back above it and defended on pullbacks. So that was important here, and holding above that area opened up the potential to squeeze into 4510. That was the expectation, and so far we've seen a move almost into that area, reaching a high at about 44.97 half. Look for further upside. Um, Price discovery into 45.10 and 45.23. We have a 45.55 half as, a, as the full range target by the end of the week. So we could see further strength by the end of the week into 45.55 so long as price can hold above the 44.41s. So a pullback in the 44.41 could offer a solid opportunity to defend uh, for a continuation higher into the next upside targets. 45.10, 45.23 and 55 half. Looking at the intraday time frame for the NQ, you'll notice how significant this rally has been so far, and it all started again as a result of a failure to hold below the bottom of the key range. Upon doing so, we saw a big time push back to 4403. All the bears that came in and defended off that area got their buy stops run, and then it was a short squeeze all the way up. So it's been a steady continuation since then. Again, 4441 is going to be very important. Should price pull back to that area sometime over the next day or two, it still offers an opportunity to defend for a continuation into those upside targets. All right, that's it for now. Let's see how this thing plays out heading into the rest of the session. Good luck and trade well.